praise the lord my brothers and sisters we welcome to this online english service amen let us lift his name let us praise his name amen it's a big joy to meet you all today let us sing a song amen when the spirit is come when the spirit of the lord comes in our heart it's a big joy amen it's a big cherish amen let us sing a song with the happiness with the joy mercy upon us amen he is the only great and god he is the great one amen hallelujah let us praise him lord we lift your name we exalt you lord you are the only one amen lord we hand over everything unto you lord please bless each and every one in jesus name i pray amen 
Praise the Lord, dear children of God. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Hope you might have enjoyed in the presence of God. Amen. Now let us get into the word of God. I hope God will minister to you. God will speak to you. Amen. Let us uh, open our hearts in the presence of God. To hear his voice. Amen. Let us hear the voice of God. <clears throat> Let us read a Bible portion. From Luke chapter 8. Verses from 43 to 48. Luke chapter 8. Verses from 43. We can uh, see an incident here. And there was a woman who had had a discharge of blood for 12 years and though she spent all her living on physicians she could not be healed by anyone she came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment and immediately her discharge of blood ceased and jesus said who was it that touched me amen here we can see jesus's Asking, who was it that touched me? Who touched me? I mean, we are going to meditate on this word. Who touched me? Who touched Jesus? How can a man, how can a person or a woman or anyone, how can a person touch Jesus? We are going to meditate on that. Here, um, Jesus is asking, who was it that touched me? And everyone denied it. Yes. Uh, at that time, Peter said, Master, the crowd surround you and are pressing in on you. But Jesus said, Someone touched me, for I perceive that power has gone out from me. Yes. Someone touched me and I perceive that power has gone out from me. Here, the crowds are surrounding Jesus. So many crowds, so many people are there. They are surrounding Jesus and everyone are pressing towards him. Everyone is touching his hands, his legs, his garments, everything. Yes. Jesus was surrounded by the crowd, by crowds. But now he is asking, who touched me? Who touched me? Yes, so when Jesus said that someone touched me, for I perceive that power has gone out from me, uh, in verses 47 and 48, and when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him, declared in the presence of all the people why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Amen. So, everyone touching Jesus, the people around him are touching him. Yes, but the touch of this woman differed from all of them. How does her touch differ from others? How can her touch brought power out of Jesus? How was she healed? When she see about this woman in verse 43, she had had a discharge of blood for 12 years. The verse says, she is suffering. She was suffering for a long period of time. Not a one day or two day or one month or two month or one year or two year. She was suffering for 12 years. She had spent all her living on physicians. All her living, all her possessions, all her money on physicians. Now she is empty handed. She had nothing in her hand. She might have neglected by her family members. She was not loved by anyone. There was no hope in her life. She was hopeless. She was hopeless. She was not loved by anyone. She didn't have any a penny in her hand. She lost everything. 
she had a long suffering in her body at that time she heard of jesus amen she heard of jesus before before she heard about jesus there was no hope in her life but now when she heard that jesus was there jesus was there in her town she, there arose a hope in in her heart she got a little faith amen yes she said yes this jesus can heal me this is my last chance i will not let it go if i touch even his garments i will be made well the little faith rose in her heart i mean with this faith she went behind jesus along with all the other crowd and she touched the garment of jesus and received healing amen she touched the garment she touched only his garment but his but her faith but her little faith touched the heart of jesus her faith touched jesus yes that is why jesus asked who touched me who touched her who touched jesus the faith of that woman touched jesus it brought power out of jesus it brought healing for her amen yes in our life in everything we do let us keep our faith on jesus it will touch him we can heal sorry we can feel his presence we can feel his power in our life when we keep our faith on jesus yes the faith of a centurion brought healing to his servant when his servant was ill the centurion said lord i am not worthy to have you come under my roof say the word say a uh, one word say one word say the word and let my servant be healed i mean say the word you need not to come to my house you say a word and it will heal my servant such was the faith of the centurion i mean jesus marveled at his faith and said not even in israel have i found such faith yes the centurion's faith brought healing to his servant the centurion's faith touched the heart of jesus yes let our faith touch jesus i mean let our faithful words touch jesus let us confess his word and let us keep our faith on him and it will touch jesus we can feel we can uh, feel his presence his power in our life amen we can touch jesus by our little faith then we can uh, come across a incident from the bible luke chapter 18 in luke chapter 18 from verses 1 we can see and he told them jesus told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart jesus insisted on praying without losing heart that persistent prayer will touch jesus amen persistent prayer a faithful prayer a continuous prayer will touch jesus here uh, we can see a parable in that parable a widow kept on coming to a judge who was unrighteous that judge was unrighteous he was not fearing man he was not respecting people he was an uh, unrighteous judge but this widow he she kept on coming to him and nagging him to give her justice over her adversary the judge who was unrighteous he said though i neither fear god nor respect man yet because this widow keeps bothering me i will give her justice she keeps on bothering me i am uh, she knows that i am not respecting man she knows that i am not god fearing man she knows that i am unrighteous but 
she kept ke- she keeps on she kept on for bothering me so i will give her justice by saying this parable jesus said hear what the unrighteous judge says and will not god give justice to his elect who cry out to him day and night will not god give justice to his children who pray to him day and night we are praying day and night we are following god yes will not god give answer to our prayers will not god give justice to us yes he hears our prayers he gives justice to us amen will he delay long over them no 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 jesus said i tell you he will give justice to them speedily amen yes our faithful and our persistent prayer will touch jesus let us touch jesus by our prayer how should we how should we pray we should pray persist- persistently we should pray continuously we should pray faithfully yes god will hear my prayer god will answer my prayer it may delay this today but surely one day god will answer my prayer with that faith let us pray persistently it will touch him it will bring power from him amen in matthew in mark chapter 7 uh, from verses 24 we can come across a woman a canaanite woman one day she uh, came to jesus she was a gentle she came to jesus and begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter she was begging to jesus heal my daughter but jesus to test her faith and persistence jesus is testing jesus was testing her she was a gentle she was a canaanite woman jesus said it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs Yes, here, here, Jesus is speaking a little harshly. But that woman, she did not lose her heart. She did not lose her faith. She did not go away from Jesus. Instead, what she did? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. But... even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs the dog can eat the crumbs of their children that fall from the table see how she is using the words how she is tempting jesus to answer her yes hearing this statement jesus immediately healed her daughter yes her persistent request her persistent request her faithful request brought healing to her daughter in our prayer with faith let us request let us please let us uh, ask our god persistently for anything for healing for blessing for anointing for uh repentance for salvation for family for our finance for anything if you go pray pray persistently pray continuously one day surely god will answer all your prayers like jacob let us pray i will not let you go unless you bless me yes jacob received blessing and he was called israel as yes, the same god is with us today he will bless us let us grab his legs and receive all his power all his blessings in our life our persistent prayer will touch jesus and will bring blessings in our life amen yes let us touch jesus with our prayers in luke chapter 10 Luke chapter 10 verses from 38 we can see uh, we can come across two sisters Martha and Mary Martha and Mary 
Luke chapter 10 verses from 38 to 42. <clears throat> One day, uh, Jesus entered a village and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house and she said, and she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. Yes, here we see two sisters, Martha and Mary. Martha, both of them, they invited Jesus. They welcomed Jesus into their house. They were so happy that Jesus was at their home. Yes, uh, how Martha reacted to the arrival of Jesus, she was distracted with much serving. She was so busy in household uh, activities. She was so busy in serving. She, she was so busy in doing this and that. She was running here and there. But Mary sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. Listen to the words of Jesus. She longed to listen to the word of Jesus. She, uh, she knew that I, I will not get this chance again. Uh, I want to hear the word of God. I want to meditate on the word of God. I want to sit at the presence of God. I want to sit at the feet of Jesus. Yes, she sat at the feet of Jesus and listened to his teaching. At that time, Martha came and complained to Jesus, Why are you not asking my sister to help me? At that time, Jesus said, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things. You worry about many things. But one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion which will not be taken away from her. What is the good portion? What is necessary? Sitting in the presence of God, meditating on the word of God, listening to the word of God is necessary. That is the good portion in our life. Yeah, we are so busy nowadays. We are running here and there. We are doing this and that. We are uh, uh, earning for our children, we are for our family. We are doing, uh, trying to do many things, even we are doing ministry to build the kingdom of God. But do we sit at the presence of God? Do we hear, listen uh, the word of God? Do we listen to the voice of God? Do we listen to uh, He? Do we uh, respect to His leading? Many times we uh, fail to do that. But that is what God wants from us. That will touch Jesus. Amen. Both of the sisters wanted to please Jesus. Both of them loved Jesus. Both of them loved to have Jesus in their home. But the act of Mary touched Jesus. The act of Mary instead of Martha, Mary's action, Mary's act touched Jesus. Her wish and longing to, to hear the word of God touched Jesus. Amen. Psalm, uh, first Psalm, verse 3 says, Blessed is the man whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. When we meditate on his word day and night, when we delight in the law of the Lord, when we delight in hearing, meditating and following the word of God in our life, that will please Jesus, that will touch Jesus, God will say that is necessary. That is the good portion. Yes, instead of Martha, Mary's life is blessed. As she longed for the word of God, as she, as she longed to hear the word of God. Yes, let us touch Jesus by meditating his word every day. Whenever we find time, let us sit at his presence. Let us meditate on his word. We can hear his voice. We can hear his leading. We can uh, hear his guidance in our life. He will lead us. He, it will touch Jesus. He will, his presence will be with us all the time. 
Yes, let us wish and long and earn to hear the word of God. It is so pleasing in his eyes. Amen. Then, how can we touch Jesus? In Luke, uh, Luke chapter 7, from verses 36 to 50, uh, we can come across a sinful woman. The Bible mentions uh, that woman as a sinful woman. Verses from 36 to 39. One of the Pharisees asked him to eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. And behold, a woman of the city who was a sinner, when she learned that he was reclining at the table in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask of ointment. And standing behind him at his feet, Weeping, she began to wet his feet with his with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment. Okay, so here we come across a woman. She uh, she was mentioned as a sinner. Bible says she was a sinner. Uh, she was hated by the society. No one welcomed her to the house she voluntarily came into the house she was not wanted by anyone everyone frowned at her everyone might have talked abusively of her but this woman she did not bother about others what others say how others talk about her how they see me she did not worry about anything when she heard that Jesus was there at the house of the Pharisee called Simon, she rushed there. She wanted to see him. She wanted to honor him. She wanted to worship him. Yes, the world saw her as a sinner. But she, in her heart, she wanted to honor God. She, know, she knew that, that God was so holy. Only he can make me holy. Only he can change my life. Only he can give me repentance. Only he can give me, he can forgive me. He is the only one who is worthy to forgive me. He is the only one who can change my life. Yes, and so she rushed to the house of the Pharisee and came forward to honor him, honor Jesus. How did she worship Jesus? The verse says, she brought an alabaster flask of ointment. Alabaster flask of ointment. It was so expensive. It was so expensive. In other Bible verses, uh, in other books, we can see that, this, that it was so, so expensive. So that it was a precious uh, thing in her house. But she came forward to give that precious thing to Jesus. Amen. And she began to wet his feet with her tears. She wet the feet of Jesus with her tears. It shows that she cast down. She cast her down all her burdens at the feet of Jesus. She poured out her heart at the feet of Jesus. Words are not coming out from her mouth, only tears. It, uh, it wet the feet of Jesus. She cast her down all her burdens, all her sins at the feet of Jesus. She wiped his feet with the hair of her head. The hair of her head. It was an honor for her. But she humbles her by wiping his feet with her hair. Her long hair, her beautiful hair. She was using to wipe the feet of Jesus. It shows her humbleness. She kissed the feet of Jesus. It shows. How much she loves Jesus. 
it shows her love. She anointed them with the ointment. Yes, she anointed his feet, anointed the feet of Jesus with that precious ointment. Her act of honoring and worshipping him that touched Jesus. Her act touched Jesus. How do we honor Jesus in our life? In uh, the same chapter, from verses 44 to 48, Jesus says, Do you see this woman? I entered your house. You gave me no water for my feet. But she was... But she has wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You gave me no kiss. But from the time I came in, she has not ceased to kiss my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil. But she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I tell you, her sins which are many. You may think that. She was a sinful woman. She was a sinner. She had done many sins. But that sins are forgiven. For she loved much. She loved much. Yes, that sinful woman loved much. And he said to that woman, Your sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us honor our God. Let us touch our God with our worship. Whenever we come in His presence, whether it is, uh, it may be in our church, it may be in our family, it may be in our private prayer hall, prayer room. Whenever we come to worship Him, let us give as much honor to Him. Amen. Like this uh, woman, let us Come into his presence. Let us humble ourselves before him. Lord, I am nothing without you. You are my everything. You are my strength. You are my everything. You are my Lord. Let us humble ourselves before God. Let us cast all our burdens, all our worries, all our sins at the feet of Jesus. Let us pour out our heart to Jesus. I mean, let us praise him. Let us praise God. Yes, Lord, you are my father. You are my healer. You are my everything. Uh, by singing songs, by singing hymns and praises, it will please Jesus. It will touch Jesus. Yes, let us honor, uh, honor our God in everything we do. Whenever we try to honor him, we do uh, many things to honor him. It will please him. Yes, my child. My son, my daughter is honoring me. Surely I will touch their life. Surely I will pour out my blessings on their life. Surely I am going to give my power in their life. God will surely bless us. Yes, let us honor our God. Let us worship our God wholeheartedly. Let us lift up his name all the time in our good days and our bad days in everything in all the times let us not think about our society let us not worry about the people around us how they feel how they see us how they talk about us no 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 we need not worry about anything let us fix our eyes on jesus and let us honor him with our praise and singing it will please him it will touch his heart amen we will not go empty-handed when we honor him. He will shower his blessings on us. Amen. Let us touch Jesus in our day-to-day -day life. Every day, in all the time, in, all, in everything we do, in everything we say, let us touch him. Yes, Jesus asked, who touched me? Who touched me? Is that you? Yes. Touch Jesus every day. Touch Jesus through your lifestyle. Touch Jesus by your little faith. Touch Jesus by your persistent prayer. Touch Jesus by meditating, by longing for His word, listen, listening to His voice. Touch Jesus by listening to His word. Touch Jesus by your true worship. Yes. Let us touch Jesus every day. 
and receive all the blessings like the sinful woman like mary like that canonate woman like that uh, centurion like that um, woman who suffered for 12 years all of them they received blessings in their life by touching jesus by their activities yes let us touch jesus in our life and receive all his blessings let us feel his power he let us feel his presence all the time amen he will bless us and we will be a blessing to the world to our family to our church wherever we go we will be a blessing let us touch him and receive all his blessings amen may the lord bless you through this word let us close our eyes our heavenly father thank you lord thank you for making us your children thanking thank you lord thank you lord for talking to us all the day thank you for all your love thank you for all your mercies thank you for all your blessings lord help us to please you help us to touch your heart by our activities by our prayer by our worship by our meditation by our faith by everything we do help us to touch you amen lord we want to please you in our life lord be with us all the time holy spirit lead us every day guide us every day teach us every day teach us how to do everything teach us how to live our life be with us all the time i give all of those who listen to this word in your hands lord help them to touch you help them to please you help them to honor you in their day to day life amen jesus we give us in your hands bless us be with us in jesus name we pray amen amen let's receive the blessing the grace of the lord jesus the love of father the sweet communion of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen let's shout hallelujah we'll meet you in another online service until then bye bye god bless you